Hello and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program with me, Raven. Um, this is part two. Uh, it's probably going to be a link to part one at some point. Where we got into orbit around the moon. Well, you can't really see much because I'm actually on the night side at the moment. But if I come into my map and actually press F2 so I can see my UI again. <laughs> um, got into a 42, 40 kilometer orbit around the moon. Which is pretty cool. There's Kerbin. The sun. And what we're going to want to do is we're actually going to want to come down sort of on, on the light side. On the light side. Um, and we're going to have to pick a good spot because the moon is notoriously, well, bumpy. That's that's really the only way of saying it. It's it's horrendously bumpy. Um, and what you think might be um, a nice spot to land usually isn't quite as low as you think it is. Uh, we can't trust our altimeter in this, which if I go back to the main screen, that's your altimeter. Because most of the time, uh, ground level is like, it can be anywhere between 1,500, I believe, to like 6,000. So, we've got to pick a pretty good spot. And, unfortunately, on the flight path we've got, which is pretty much level with Kerbin, um, this is kind of the only good spot we've got. Unfortunately, if I do any, like, orbital maneuvers, ah, which, that's, that's a good point. I am actually heading that direction around the moon. Ha 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 ha! <laughs> you are a dumbass raven. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. What we want to do is pretty much come in at a relatively shallow angle. Um... That'll actually work out pretty nicely. I'll have to redo this when I go back to the command module. And slap my cat if he decides that he's going to go into the bin for food when there's food set out for him. Right. Uh, yeah. This is going to be a particularly rough area by the looks of it. Um, yeah, that's it. Just just rip my carpet up instead. Kick your ass later, Mufasa. Um, yeah. It's going to be a pretty rough spot to land. I mean, you want to land somewhere nice and smooth, which that looks nice and smooth, but we're actually slightly off from it, and I don't want to... I don't want to deal with doing lots of little orbital maneuvers to get into it. I'd rather everything just be kind of level and plain. So, i pull that back a bit more, then, yeah. Well, I actually want to sort of aim for that side a bit, so I'll land around there. I'm just giving you a good example. And this means that, like, we'll be coming in very, very slowly, but it will require the least amount of energy. <coughs> and when you're rocking almost no fuel, the least amount of energy is best. So what we're going to do is we're going to undock. And we are on the wrong thing. There we go. So we'll slowly move away. I don't need to really do any use any RCS or anything like that. I'll just naturally move away from each other slowly because you, you get like a 0 0.01 thrust on it. Um, okay. So yeah, uh, we're still I can't set the moon as my target, but that's perfectly fine. Um, but yeah, what I want to do is I, I want to effectively just sort of bring that down a bit. And it might be a good idea if everything stops chittering around. And start the burn probably there where the light hits it. is going to be a bit much. So, yeah. 20. Yeah, that might be a bit too shallow of an angle. Going from there. Yeah, there we go. That 
should should be quite fine actually. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I just want to aim for the opposite side of the crater. That should mean we'll land roughly in the centre of it. Hopefully, yeah. things don't always work out as planned. <laughs> So, we shall have to see. Um, no, 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 no. Just, just be nice here. We've got 17 minutes till the burn. At the moment, I don't know. Hopefully, there won't be any crashing and exploding. It will be a good thing. Uh, I should point out I have only been able to, like, actually land on the moon twice now, though. Um, twice or three times. Only a handful of times. It really is like I, I, I am still not very confident in doing this. <laughs> okay, let's keep SAS on to, so it zeroes out on movement a bit. <coughs> if you notice on the screen uh, on here, you can actually see uh, you. If you played an older version, you'll notice this is new. It tells you stupidity and courage. Now, courage, courage just kind of shows how much they'll scream in the picture. And our wing is well, he's he's quite a seasoned guy. He's 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 seen this before, um, but his stupidity level is still kind of low. So. Yeah, that that does actually kind of affect their ability to do SAS maneuvers. Uh, just keep that in mind. Um, this is quite a uh, low weight lander as well. It's only four tons, which is about on par with the actual lunar lander. And the majority of that actually comes from the legs I put on it earlier. Uh, those heavier legs. Because um, I ended up, I, I found that I could land this if I had four of those on the top and four of them on the bottom and I had the lightweight legs and that actually had the lander uh, I think it was just over one and a half tons it was, just, it was incredibly light but I found I didn't have enough fuel to get back into orbit <coughs> oddly enough though if I timed it right I could have had the old build for this landed it and got it back up now that the command module is about 40k away um, it just can't make like the 100k I did originally orbit at kind of cool when you, uh, the graphics in this are pretty cool uh, I quite like them um, let's get a bit closer 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1 Alright, what I'm do is level this out, because landing when you're not level is actually a big pain in the ass. <coughs> it looks amazing, it really does. And something I should have remembered to do was activate this. Now, I said earlier, <coughs> there was a reason how I set things up, and basically everything that was in that second stage because the first stage is effectively getting back into orbit of Kermin and then I just press space it uh, and everything sort of separates itself and the the command module goes back down with a uh, with a parachute uh, but everything that was in the second stage um, stage one um, were all the things like this uh, and like the connections between the command module and this so those are all things I had to do manually and that's why they were in their own stages Jet. That was probably a bit too much. Uh, it's still good. <laughs> yeah, that's still fine. <coughs> I'm going to have to keep an eye on this speed, though. Because realistically, when you hit about... Um, it's it's fine for now 
annoyingly, the engine on this is extremely powerful um, for the weight ratio. Um, it's actually a very, very light engine on the whole, but it's an extremely powerful engine for the uh, the weight ratio that we've got. So, if I put it at full power, it's just going to go all over the place. And I don't even know whether you can see my mouse. I should probably check that. But yeah. Mm. It's going to take a while. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed this up. Because I'm coming in very, very... Very heavy. There we go. We get to about 20,000. This is where things get interesting. Because now we're going to start speeding up. And notice that the terrain is a lot bumpier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> we're still good I mean ideally what I want to if I'd be if I'd gotten the crate to where I wanted it um, in fact I can show on the map again Okay, so what the hell's going down there? I feel I'm on the wrong thing. <laughs> Control from here. That does that work? That should be our command module. Oh fuck yeah. There we go. In fact, there we go. That helps. Right, so that's where we are. <laughs> Dumbass. And yeah, we want to be doing about... Uh, I really shouldn't have been on that screen, but... If I was if I was a bit further, it would have been better. But I'm just going to start bleeding off some of this... Um, some of this speed now. Uh, that'll start to shrink. That's why I'm not bleeding too much off right now. We will be bleeding off a lot more later. <coughs> but I think I actually want to miss that mountain. Unless that's where I'm landing. In which case, I am kind of screwed because I'm going a bit too quick. Total velocity and surface velocity, they're kind of about the same right now, which is what I want to keep them at. Uh, I'm getting to about there, so let's, let's start killing off this velocity a hell of a lot. Because I think I have picked some of the highest threat. Oh shit, that didn't sound good. I think I picked some of the high, highest terrain I could have. And this thing just naturally wants to go downwards. Stop making that explodey sound. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, we'll put our landing legs down. It's a lot more difficult without SAS. And again, I just want to get rid of a lot of this sideways speed. You can see my shadow already. Oh, no. Apparently my monitor has got a dead pixel. Awesome source. <laughs> So we should be good now. I realistically should be coming in a hell of a lot faster than this, but um, it's fine. Uh, I'll actually, let it speed up again a bit. I don't need to see who's in there. OK, 
take this above there. Should slowly bleed off my speed sideways. Orbital is down to 86. Bring the orbital all the way down. Yeah, I do have my lights on, so I will be able to see, and I think we, yep, we'll be slowly speeding up here, but not by much. There we go, the ground's coming into view now. Should be fine. Should be a textbook landing. Like this. I just, I just want to keep bleeding off little bits of speed. Because <clears throat> I can get rid of that speed really quickly. I just don't want to be doing more than more than say 100. In fact, I could land at 50 on these legs. Um, with the, with this weight, with these legs, I could land at 50. Mm, as long as I've got a third left, I should be okay. I'm actually coming down a bit faster now, so let's slow this down. RCS, use that for braking. There we go. There's minimal thrust I can do. And we're coming down pretty much straight, so it's good. This will be fine. Should be a nice soft landing. And off. There we go. And we're landed. We're landed. Awesome source. Um, I should be able to. Problem is, I've got the ladder sort of like semi inside that. <laughs> it's a good place for the ladder, but you know. Okay, so we landed. Awesome. And we'll go on an EVA. In fact, I'll turn the RCS and the SAS off because I don't need them anymore. Alright. One small step for man, one giant leap for Kabul. Kind. And he's happy. Whee! <laughs> We. <laughs> he is so happy with himself. Okay. So what I'm going to do is see if I can't plant a flag. And hopefully I, I've got this like right this time. So I can plant the flag sort of roughly where I want it, want it to be. And it's backwards. Of course it is. Hang on. No, don't read plaque, take down. Okay. Just go that direction and plant the flag that way. No! No! Stop it! Stop planting it backward! 
I hate you so much right now. <laughs> you really are a retard. Can't believe I took you to the bloody moon. <laughs> there we go. Put the flag down. Ha! There we go. And my flag. There we go. Um, in case you're wondering, this doesn't come with that uh, Cowboy Space Program. That's uh, like the logo for the uh, the alliance I have on Eve, the uh, the fleet we have on Star Trek Online, Battlefield. It's kind of like a small gaming group. It's cool. It's fun to run around. RCS it. Oh, okay. Well. Maybe that was a bit too quick, but I think we'll be able to, like, find something we can do. Jump. Ah, oh, shit, shit. Don't hit the ground. Don't hit the ground. Go this way. Like, I'll bring a rover next time, so, like, I can probably explore. I probably did not land in the right place for sites, but... We're not here in the name of science, we're here in the name of saying we did it. Our e penis has grown several inches. <laughs> so, yep. How far away are we? Oh god. <laughs> now, I know there are like, there's some sort of like plaques and monuments on the moon. However, I have no idea where they are. <laughs> I know where one is. Like, one is in honor of the first moon landing. Um, well, one is placed where the first moon landing happened in honor of Neil Armstrong, who died earlier this year. Um, I think it was either earlier this year or late last year, something like that. <coughs> I don't really keep up with that kind of stuff, but I sort of found out from other Kerbal Space Program videos. Um, so yeah. But it's kind of cool they've got that on there. But there, there are like several black monoliths on the moon apparently. You know, like 2001 style. Oh god, we're like two kilometers away from our main thing, and I'm at like 50%. I don't want to walk back! He can't make me... Hang on. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good Lord. <laughs> this is what you get for planting the flag the wrong way, you asshole. <laughs> He did not look happy at that. Wow. <laughs> Probably like a third of a kilometre away from it. Okay. So. Run. Jump. RCS. And I don't know why you were going that way. God damn it. Okay, so something funny um, for people who play who might not know is if you press Alt F12 and turn on like unlimited uh, RCS, uh, you can actually put couples into orbit around the moon. It's it's actually incredibly easy and funny. <laughs> it's easier on um, what is it, Mimus? And like if you're going to be doing anything like this. Uh, like landing on a planet, getting into orbit of it. Minmus is far easier than the moon. Uh, it it really is far e Oh, shoot. No, 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 no. Arrgh. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, 
That, that all served me right for not paying attention. <laughs> oh, good lord, is he going to be able to survive this? <laughs> okay, next time I bring a rover, because I'm not very good at using the EVA pack. <laughs> Oh, it just keeps going. Now I'm a kilometer in the other direction. Look, put, put your hand out or something. Oh, for the love of God, just, just stop yourself. It's going to take a while. <laughs> At that angle, like the, the sort of like shine on his hair, I think he might have died. Oh no! Oh, thank you. <laughs> Last thing I'd want is like curbicide and bloody uh, on the moon. Stop doing pirouettes when you jump, you bastard! <laughs> right, we'll try this again. But but we'll take it slower. I have enough fuel to like really go particularly. Yeah. <laughs> On the plus side, we we explored quite a large area without a rover. <laughs> And, more impressively, he didn't die. <laughs> he probably could have. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, as I said, Mimbus is, is like a much easier place to get to. Also, I've been told uh, by a good few of my friends. I, however, decided to be ridiculously difficult on myself and get to uh, the moon. And my next trip will be tomorrow. Well, actually, it's going to be to get to the moon again, but with uh, a rover. I, I figured that would be kind of cool to do. A rover would be kind of awesome source. Um, and then after I've done it with the rover, I want to then go to the to Mars. But I think I'll probably send like some probes to Mars first, to see if I can actually just get some probes there. Ooh, you're going to be walking in a second, mate. There we go. Ha. Take that off, because, yeah, 4%. So I'm going to have to walk all the way back there. Um, I won't bore you guys with that. All right, so I will cut that out and cut it back in when I'm, I, I'm actually at the lander. I might take a smoke break before cutting back in. <laughs>